Toyota, uh, called Emily Sakuyangawa. I played Yvonne, who, um, when I first read sort of the basics of her, sounded a lot like me. So I was like, oh, okay, I can get along with this person. She is a student and very, very nice and I think quite subtly assertive. So you sort of you sort of get a little bit of that in her, but throughout the rest of the film, I think you see a lot of her, like sort of darker stuff, like her insecurities and, and her mental health stuff, which is quite um, detrimental. And you kind of see a different side of her, but I don't know. I I I, I still liked her <laughs> throughout the whole thing. Like even though she's going through this really horrible rough time, yeah, I still was able to connect with her. But I, I decided I was going to be an actor when I was 11 and I did my first stage production when I was 12 and I just kind of kept doing it from there all through high school and then um, went to university and studied English Lit and Theatre. I rocked up to set and our AD was just awesome, very bubbly and very onto it and I, and I, I vibe well off people who are like kind but still very like structured and, and are like we need to get this done this time and things like that and she was just really great so I felt very very comfortable and everyone was really nice and yeah it was from an actor's perspective I think it was quite um, it was quite different because you were just trying to do your best performance and also keep the energy up to keep doing that performance again and again as many takes as, as was needed and like you'd think you'd done a really good job and you're like yep that's it that's the money in the bag and then they're like okay we have to do another take and you're like did I fail and it's like no 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 there's so many other things that are going on like there was a focus issue or like Jeff took a step that wasn't quite right or you know something like that so there are all these other technical things so in a sense it's kind of good because you can just keep trying again and keep trying to amp up your own performance and, and try and um, make sure that you're doing the best that you can so that everyone else can kind of come with you so that was really nice. Aiden kind of gave us a little bit of freedom in terms of, of what we thought of the characters or our intentions or and, and just trying to get it right, the, the script and the movements and the all the acting kind of stuff right, but I think Aiden also trusted us as actors to, to do our job. So that was a nice balance, I think, and was really cool. I enjoyed the uh, buffet of snacks <laughs> that was available to us at all times. Um, yeah, I got a bit cheeky there. And the catering was always really nice. Oh, just food in general was very good. And it's, it's good to have good food when you are very cold and you know you're like you're like okay and just do the thing and then cut and it's like I'm getting back inside where it's warm and then like you know warm food helps um, inside as well so yeah no it was good it was it was a fun time it was everyone was very friendly and bubbly but we all still kind of had there was like a focused energy so it wasn't as though anyone was skiving or no one cared about the project it was we were all kind of in it and we were all just trying to like all moving parts in this like big cog machine. And how did you find working with Lawrence? He's quite an experienced actor in New Zealand film and television. Yeah, so. and, and I had no idea how experienced he was until he started like name dropping people in films and I was like, oh, oh okay, all right, hello, I feel very novice. Um, <laughs> so in a sense I'm kind of glad that I didn't know that he was like very well experienced and I kind of just tried to tried to work with him coming from my own experience and stuff. He enjoyed, um, I think it, his process, he likes to, to talk about a lot of stuff and get a lot of clarity through a lot of talking. I require less, but that's not to say that, you know, he took up so much time or anything like that. It was kind of nice to, to know that he was talking through, and he also was able, by talking through, he was able to kind of colour a lot of the things around the script and around the characters that wasn't necessarily in the script or may not have even come through in the performances, but we knew about it and we were on the same page. So by that being his process, I was kind of happy to like jump on board with that. And I think together, yeah, we did some good stuff. It was it was quite nice. You know, he'd, he'd like look at me and be like, when you did that thing, I was like, oh, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, cool, great, yeah, awesome. Because you, you kind of can't really tell until you yell cut. So, um, yeah, no, it was, it was good. And I think, I think he helped me in a small way um, do the kind of transition from, from theatre or stage to, to film a little bit, which was really nice. 
must have required quite a lot of uh, emotional depth from you guys. Yeah. How was it? How was it plunging into that depth? Because of the mental health stuff. Yeah, yeah, and I, I kind of question how deep I really did go. I think Lawrence went deeper than me, and I and I think that could be related to experience or. Um, I don't know, film's just quite a different medium. Film is very much a you're on and now you're off, whereas theatre is like, it's a long, it's a long process amping up and then continue the energy and then you're kind of finished and you're done. So um, that is one thing that I, I think I learned a lot from, um, but I do question how deep inside myself I grab stuff. Uh, when I when I noticed this, when I noticed that I felt like I wasn't doing as good of a job as I might want, because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist in terms of that as well, when I noticed that I just tried to change the way that I was thinking about myself and the acting and the whole process and just I just tried to be as honest as I could with her. Um, you know, so it's very easy when you have a character that goes crazy to just play all the crazy tropes and um, I just relied on the script and I just chose to try and make, you know, she's saying these things and these things sound crazy. The cra it's already there, so I don't need to play into it. I just need to make it honest and I need to make it as though she truly believes what she's saying. And in a sense, that's even more heartbreaking than playing on these sort of typical tropes, which is, like we need to stop doing that in general in film and performance anyway so that's that's ended up being what I tried to do and I hope that that comes through that yeah the the honesty was the was what I brought out of myself 